Hi, my name's Ron. Welcome to another Trade Earth Movers Heavy Machinery Review. Although this little excavator here at two ton, you wouldn't claim it to be a heavy review. Today, we've been able to secure a little Uchai two ton mini excavator from Uchai Equipment just down uh, in Underwood, just south of Brisbane. And uh, we've been fortunate enough to be able to grab it for a couple of days in between a few showers down here at our testing ground. Great little setup. Um, comes with all the attachments or the demo machine has. It's got an auger, a hammer, all the buckets, nice little push blade, which is a, a, a quick release one actually, manually quick release. You can take this blade off and put another attachment on if you want to. We're going to give it a go, sit back and enjoy, and hope we can get it all in before the weather changes. One thing that impresses me with this, for a small machine of this size, and I'm talking about basically the track. Uh, frame width and length. You're going to get a hell of a lot of bounce on this when you're digging. It doesn't really matter what machine it is, rubber tracks, nice and light. Most of these mini excavators these days got a blade on them. The biggest problem that designers have, engineers have when they design these machines is that they keep that blade too close to the track so that when the spoil comes over the top, falls in in between the tracks, you've lost your floor straight away, you've got to go back and start it again. This, this little U-Chai my opinion for the ratio of the size of the machine, it's got quite a considerable distance of blade in front of the tracks. So I give it a thumbs up. You've got to make sure that the blade's down. Dig with this to the front if you can. It'll hold your support for when you want to pull in from the trench. This will sort of brace you. It also just gives you more support forward and also more stability when you're swinging and tipping. The little canopy is pretty darn good. You know? She's all fiberglass, neat and tidy. And uh, believe it or not, it covers a fair bit of you. And your head sits right up here. Believe it or not, you don't get hit with the sun. You can work with a hat off if you want to. But that's, uh, that's another good thing. Some of these canopies are a bit too small. The sun comes in at that angle, burns you. But this one is not too bad. The seat, that's just, well, it's an open cab. You know, nice and hardy, pretty tight, pretty tight seat. Basic dash layout with all the light switches here, which are just a basic on-off toggle switch. It's very basic because all we've got is the fuel gauge. You know, we don't have a temperature gauge, which in my opinion is an absolute must. But um, anyway, that cable operated throttle and, a, uh, and the blade lever which sits between your armrest and the seat. Believe it or not, quite easy to move and quite easy to get to. So it's not too bad. Now, the excavator also comes with two auxiliary um, uh, hydraulic lines. Uh, this one here is actually used for the auger and this one here is actually used for the hammer purely because they're set up with different flows. Down on this end we've got a manual quick hitch, spring loaded, pull the pin, bang, knock it, tilt it, buck falls off. Same thing, do it in reverse, pick up your bucket or your other attachment. Good setup. Um, you're, you've still got your articulated slew over here, you know, so but you can do your side shift on this. They're purely designed to get into those really, really tight spots, small access areas, tuck it all in. You know, if the worst comes to worst, you can take the canopy off. I've even done stuff where we've had to actually go downstairs in uh, underground car parks where we've actually taken the dipper arm off and the boom and walked the rest of the machine down the steps down to the uh, third floor underground car park because we had some other major issues and couldn't get access any other way. But Tidy little machine. Curved rear end on it. This is the only bit of counterweight that we've got, which is down here on the bottom. That protects the uh, fiberglass cowling, of course. Easy to access, as, as you can see. This is the, the uh, fuel cap or fuel tank filler. Your nozzle's too big, and then you'll get you'll get um, you'll get a bit of backwash from your diesel if you try to fill it too quick. Dipstick. Radiator, nice little radiator sitting over here. Air filter, all within about 200, 300 mil from the back. Down there in Uchai in Underwood, they bring in these uh, Chinese excavators. They also bring in those multi one loaders out of Italy. I've just done a review on that, and uh, I was looking at it there and saying, well, if anybody really wanted to get into the market, small little Uchai two tonner sits on that trailer, absolutely perfect, and takes all the uh, attachments and hydraulic attachments, buckets, auger and hammer 
all fit onto that trailer, and a little uh, a little multi one 10.8 uh, loader. Beautiful little setup, ideal for combo. What can I say about it? The Uchoi, nice little machine, priced competitively, sitting here in Australia, ready to go. Go and see Adrian. I'm sure he'll do a deal for you. Nice little unit. Cheers.